Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure. Seven days to die. Well, what the hell is this, hey? It's been a long time. And I figured with the release of Alpha 11, it's time to do another recording. And here we go. So there's been a bunch of new stuff, new changes. Uh, there's a lot of game changers. So, for example, one of those changes is a gore block. This is what they look like. They basically turn into train blocks is what it looks like to me. And so you can hit it. And it sounds like gore. So, uh, there you go. So basically there was a zombie corpse that I left. And it turned into that. Let's see. Oh, a bird's nest. Great. There are bows and arrows in the game still. Or still, well, there was just the crossbow. But now they added the, the bow here. They also... He added the quantity of arrows that you craft. So, for example, if we take that, they, uh, they took out the sharp stones. And I'm just going to rattle off kind of, I think, what the changes are. So, anyways, Alpha 11. Ugh, crazy, crazy, crazy. So, what does that mean? Well, that means that this is episode 100. And I did this before the exact. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> Um, oh shit, okay, so the crossbow bolt is in the old spot. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Well, that's irritating. So I screwed up there, if you notice. So yeah, so uh, Alpha 11. <laughs> Crazy. So basically what they did is they upgraded the engine to Unity Five, so that's why they got the shaders. They got the cool looking sun now, which is interesting. The sun also rise and sets based on the angle. Well, angle, so now there's like an angle to it, so it's more like a natural real sun versus a fake sun. There's that. Uh, what else is there? They changed the horde behavior. Uh, now, you basically, there's there's a fewer zombies in the beginning, and then they they get more and more and more as each day goes on until until day s a seven. Oh man, I can't speak today. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so I've been playing a bit here just to see kind of what it would take to start up again, and I'm a little bit rusty. Uh, I still can't play the game in your full. Full size, and what I mean by that is I can't play the game in the 1920 by 1080, I think is what it is. So instead, I'm playing it in 16 by 9, and then I'll probably um, process the video and I do it just by 720. I think I think that's what might happen, or I might just leave the format in the, the slightly larger so that way the quality looks a bit better. But I don't know. I have no idea what what I'm going to do or how I'm going to do this. Uh, I just know that I need to make this video and get it up as soon as possible because of the, the update. And I figured with the update, hopefully we'll be playing with Lushable Echo again on our, our server. And uh, you do some live streaming again. So yeah, I think it's going to be pretty cool in that respect. So let's grab this. Grab some more wood here. Uh, what else is there? Okay, so let's see. There's now a quality range for weapons and tools and stuff like that. So, for example, this bow is yellow. And so there's different kind of levels of this color all the way up until pink, I think. I think there's seven quality levels or something like that. Kind of like a Borderlands style where you have the different weapons and stuff that have different qualities. And so if you have, you say for example you have like a gun and you have a lot of high quality parts, then the weapon will be more of a high quality whoa, a bag, of a high quality weapon versus a low quality weapon, right? So that's pretty cool. Oh, I got a pistol barrel of that. That's pretty cool. Got a wooden club that's green. Can we use sticks to repair this? Oh, yes, we can. That's cool. And you need a, actually quite a few sticks. I'm going to try using this club as well for your melees on the zombies just to see how well this does. So, yeah, so that's cool. This is cool. It's got a club now. 
a good little blunt instrument. Who I find the animations and graphics kind of choppy, and I don't know if that's because of my machine, but I did try re reducing the resolutions, and it didn't really seem to help. I even tweaked with my settings a bit, and still no go. Oh, here there'll be some gore blocks that I have, because I would have killed zombies out here at some point. Yeah, right here, here's some gore blocks. And so let's... Let's go on our map here, see where we are. So we need to head, we need to find a road or something. And there's absolutely nothing. So I think if we go south and then west, so southwest, and we should get to kind of the central point where the, uh, the hub city is. So let's do that. Let's go southwest. So let's, let's leave this place and start heading out. And while we're doing this, I will carry on with my list because I wrote down a list. Um, so we were talking about the quality range, and uh, there's basic player leveling now, which actually functions in the game. Uh, where are we, character? Let's click. I, f I find the interface really clunky, and I don't know, maybe it's my computer, I'm not too sure, but you know, I can play games like Dead Island Riptide with really good s settings, and there's no problems whatsoever. You really good, you look to it, you know, even with anti-aliasing and everything, and just... Seven days to die. I don't know. I I understand that that this is an alpha game, um, and of course, Dead Island is a more AAA a title than you, this would be. So you know, obviously, I think that the textures will get fixed, and the performance of the actual game should improve as well with all of that. Uh, considering that they moved to Unity 5, so hopefully there'll be some better optimizations that they can make. But, yeah, but with that said, I'm just trying to see if I can climb up here. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you can jump. Hoo-hoo! Okay. Switch to my bow and arrow. Yeah, I don't know. I just find it kind of, even this stuff, it's not too bad, but it... I've tried to mess with my settings and I just can't find the right settings so I'm gonna have to probably tweak those more uh, hopefully the sound is perfect for recording okay perfect let's con carry on I've changed my view distance to not be as far and, and that kinda helped with performance as you can see in the distance there you can see the the hills drawing in slowly uh, northwest I wanna go southwest I want to get out of this biome. I don't like this biome. It's a cool biome, and the generation has changed. Oh, that's another thing that changed. Is basically there's more locations that they've added. They've added hospital. The oh, what's oh shit? What's this? They've added hos. Oh no! Come on. Okay. <laughs> they've added a hospital. They've added a grocery store. Uh, they changed kind of a lot of a lot of stuff. They've they changed the boxes in, uh, uh, what is it, that the gun shop, um, Shotgun Messiah, or, or whatever that's called. Let's put these on my belt. So when I die, I have it set to, to drop absolutely everything. So basically the goal is not to die. I almost died a couple times, uh, but I do find that the loot, um, all the settings in the game here are normal. And that's another thing, just to let you know. So, you know, the loot drop is normal. Uh, the zombies are set to normal. Just kind of, everything's normal, just so I can see what the normal game plays like. And I don't like this club, actually. Okay, that, actually, it's not too bad. It, it's better than using your, uh, the stone axe, I guess. Stone axe, the quality just is terrible. Okay, so south west again this switches that way so we'll let's look at the map here so yeah I think they've changed the way this looks this is actually pretty amazing and I'm quite impressed with that so I want to see if there's a way around this maybe that's that hill there okay well we're, we'll carry on and we'll we'll proceed forward so yeah, so I was gonna say there's a hospital, there's a new bookstore, grocery store. So there's some new prefabs they added, and 
But there's a whole new random generation basically that they've done. Uh, they've added caves to this. Uh, is that a zombie there behind the corn? I think it is. So let's go after that guy. It's going to go into nighttime here. So I'm obviously going to edit the video. But you can see the light rays kind of in behind the zombie there. That, I, I don't know. I think it's the shaders and stuff, which is pretty freaking cool. Uh, let's see here. I pushed escape, but I don't know. The controls, I just find them clunky. That's the best way of, of describing it. And even this animation, like, look at this swing. It's like it's missing frames. The levels, I don't know what they're good for. I think the level system is a precursor to the skill system. The skill trees that they want to add, I think. Uh, this must be a new area, so it's probably more zombies. So let's carry on to the southwest. Uh, there's basically the zombie gore block, which I kind of already mentioned and shown. B uh, basically, if you don't you beat up the corpse of the zombie, it's going to turn into a gore block. Now, my understanding is the gore blocks do disappear. So, oh, it looks like a biome change. Yeah, it looks like a biome change. And if we find a road, then we can kind of travel along the road. We want to go southwest anyways. Oh, what's this here? There's some zombies here. Oh, it's not a road. It's a river. And Is that like a tree stump? We definitely want to check that out. Yeah, I know, but I find the game looks a lot better as well. Well, sort of. I don't know. I have the textures set to, uh, I think, half size instead of full. Actually, the club's not too bad. Uh, not too bad, actually. I can still kite these guys. Oh, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't even like the, the. I find just the animations are just crap. I wonder if I would turn off the shadows. Let's let's try that. They also added it to where now you can change your video settings right from the game, which is pretty freaking cool. Uh, where are we? We want shadows distance. What if we go no shadows? What happens? Did I keep the change? I think so. No, I didn't. No shadows. Okay. Let's see the performance. Uh, just going back and forth here. I don't really notice the difference. We got water reflection. I do have the better quality water set here. Let's see what this looks like. Uh, I find the water kind of look like crap. Yeah, it's shiny and I don't know. Just doesn't look like water really. <laughs> Still looks like a plane, uh, which is trying to make it look like water. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, look at that! Look at that sunset, man. So we're in uh, a new biome here. Hope I didn't destroy that. And I don't like this thing where you push and hold. The the button. Uh, oh, look at that! There's some stuff. I didn't check that tree stump. Shit. Let's go back over there. Doesn't really matter, anyways. If I die, I die. No big deal. There's no real food. Oh, there's a zombie underwater there. There's no real food anywhere that I have found yet. Uh, what else can I talk about? Uh, let's see, added a bunch of new. So they added a bunch of new items and blocks. Let's kind of check that out. Where's the stump? Here's the stump. Oh, we'll check that in a second here. Oh, yeah, it actually is lootable. That's cool. So they changed the graphic of the stumps. So if we go into our, our crafting system here. Uh, basically, they added a bunch of new stuff in here. Like So, for example. See, gun safe, I don't know if that was craftable before. I think it was, but they added, like, your flagstone stairs. Uh, what else did they add? They added kind of some new stuff in general. They changed the way the torches behave. They added some ramps now, all right, that you can place and fill in and upgrade. Uh, they changed the way that the hammer and nails up. I think it's hammer and nails upgrades everything. They also added uh, voice proximity, so kind of like a rust style of, of voice communication. Uh, zombies 
dogs and hordes have all changed in behavior a little bit. So for example, on the first day you won't really see any zombie dogs anywhere. They spawn with the hordes now. And they also spawn on kind of like the last day, right? The last day. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, crap. Crap. Uh, oh, man. Okay, come on. Come on. Run. Ah, ah, they have fixed this. So you can still kite them. You can still run backwards. Let's kind of try the bow here. Okay, so a left click. Oh, looks like there's a meter. Bang. Oh, headshot, I think. Sweet. Okay, no, he didn't have anything. What a cheap bastard. Okay, let's go up here. I really dig this, the map generation now. The map generation is more... Oh, yeah, the zombie's closer. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know if... Oh, is that crosshair supposed to be there? Oh, oh, two hits? Okay, okay, hey. I dig that. That's not bad. I thought it'd be less hits, but hey, those walkers are pretty cheap. Let's see here. Let's eat a pill. Right click. Is it right click? Yeah, okay. Let's change back to the club. Hey, cheeky cheeky. Get ready to die. Oh, fuck, come on. I don't know. I'm still having the same problem I did back in Alpha 10. So, uh, come on, guys. Fix your game. <laughs> Maybe my computer is just too crappy, but it can't be because I can play other games, which are way better. So, I think it's the Alpha. What can you do, right? Southwest. So, how far are we now? Uh, we're getting closer, but now we just gotta go to the west. So if we travel, maybe let's travel to the west here and see kind of what we come across. But I'm surprised that we haven't found any settlements just other than that shack in the middle of nowhere, which is kind of weird. So now with nighttime here, I can't see shit. I I've set the nighttime to be 20%. So what that means is the game day is a 30 minute cycle and so then you basically 20 percent of those 30 minutes so 10 minutes I think would be night time if that's 30 percent or about 30 percent that'd be about 33 so it's probably going to be about eight minutes or something like that there's cinder blocks there I wonder what those are good for now and now they're located in this area which is kind of weird huh that's B? Like, really? Is this, like, wasteland? Well, there's these girders. It's almost like it is a wasteland. Oh, it is wasteland, I think. If we go this way, there'll probably be a biome change here. Let's see if they fix the bees, too. So I know the bees weren't working at one point. They weren't attacking or nothing. Oh, there they are. I think this is Wasteland Zone, see? Because of how everything went f uh, foggy. Yeah, okay, so if we... So there's a transition zone to the biomes now, as you can tell, as you can see. Which is pretty freaking cool, I think, methinks. Okay, so let's kind of explore this way. Let's go south now. To They better not be following me, otherwise we've got problems. So let's repair the club. Oh yeah, they are there. Look at that. Yeah, let's walk with the torch since that does seem to work. See how the oh the, the lighting effects. Look at this. And then the, the the trees are crazy. I have the trees set to ultra, so maybe maybe we'll change that. I think it's ultra. Let's take a look here. Video. Yeah, I'm doing 16. Yeah, it's high. So even at high. Let's try in the middle. There's a few less polygons out there. Uh, but I find the trees kind of creepy. Like The trees won't really move like that in the wind, unless it's really windy. Since I live out in the mountains, <laughs> we see the wind, and it 
The trees don't look like that whatsoever. The trees are more still. All right. The only time that it needs to be what it is, the the moving of the leaves is when it's really windy. So, yeah, I don't know if I like that. I got more crap. I just find it here. It's clunky again, like even more so than in the, the last biome. Maybe if I take off the torch. Yeah, so it's definitely that lighting effect. It definitely affects some things here. So I'm just going to check in the video here quickly. Collection, maybe go low. Maybe that's controls reflection of the torch. Oh, it's already morning time. So look at that. Huh, crazy. Uh, I don't know if I'll be making any more videos of this game. I know that this was the reason I made the, the video is because it's alpha 11 so time to oh what is this are we still yeah we're still in this zone so let's go check the biome over here let's go more into this biome I don't like being kind of on the edge ah you know what fuck it these places used to have good loot in them so let's check it out Let's take care of this buddy here. I guess I could use my bow. You can't see me? Weird. I wonder what's up with the zombies. You know, they used to be able to find you a little bit closer than that. Or not closer, but you know what I mean. Like, they, they used to be able to find you, but... See what's in here? Nothing. Wow. Hey, buddy! Yo! Yo! There you are. One, two, three, four. Okay, four, it's not bad. That's that's tolerable. I am filling up. Filling, filling, filling up. Ooh, see that pig there? Let's see what happens if we take care of it here. Oh, you bastard. I'm of course, my aim sucks. Let's take a look in here. Okay. Yeah, no, man. It's not... I might... And I don't want to make the, the quality... Like, the, the screen size... Like, I don't want to do... Was it tw uh, 1080 by 720? Or, or 1280 by 720? Because I tried it, and the quality was... Oh, no, shit. It was terrible. So, let's take a look here where we are. Uh, let's just head in this direction. we got a bag here. Oh, there's something in there that's kind of uh, pink, which means it's a higher quality. Let's run this way. That's uh, the water here. Okay. Do I have a horde after me or something? Can't even see where the footsteps are coming. I know they haven't changed the sounds, it seems. It seems that they could be... Oh, there it is. They could be... See, they're so far away, but yet it sounds like they're, they're right beside you, and I hate that. Because you could hear, basically, you literally... See zombies all around, but look how far they're far. Like if they're far, they should be kind of soft, and as they get closer, they slowly get louder. It's more directional than it is kind of like distance based. And I would like to see it a distance based method. I know with this can, we can. Oh, well, we should be able to make a campfire, right? Let's check that out. Campfire. Okay, we have to put them in a, a, a row. So let's... Oh, look at this guy. Hey. 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 Really? Four hits for this cocksucker? Uh, let's take this guy out. So we can still kite zombies. And I have them set to always walk. I, I turned off... Oh, you bitch. Holy shit. 
Shit. Uh, I was going to say, I always have them set to always walk because that's one thing I didn't understand is are they, are these zombies solar powered? Like, uh, to have them run at night? I can understand it's an interesting mechanic and it adds to the game, but unfortunately, oh man, I need to heal here. Let's pop a pill. Okay, maybe we can kind of use bow action here. Let's take care of them from distance. Uh, I'm going to have to change the sensitivity. It's not... There we go. Boom! Level 5 with that. And we got a big fat guy coming. Oh, shit. Coffee beans. That's okay. Now, bows, I think, are supposed to travel and drop a bit. But I don't find it does that yet. That should be a headshot. Um, one more shot, maybe? No. Oh. Ah, did you hear that? Maybe there's a sweet spot. Once it's fully charged, you quickly release. And we need the bottled water over anything else. And I don't need the glass panes. Cool, we got water. That's good. So that will help us. See, look at that. So they're turning into the gore blocks. That's cool. Uh, what else are we going to talk about? I just I got six glass jars. And I, can't, I don't think I can cook anything unless I got the empty can. So let's... Fuck off. So I got a zombie there. Like, really? Now, I heard that one. Oh, yeah, that one is close. Okay. Uh, let's see, travel west, I guess. No, not west, because that is where... Okay, no, let's go this way. Okay, where do I leave off? Uh, major environment changes, I talked about that. Tons of bug fixes. They did a bunch of bug fixes and other changes and fixes to the systems. and I don't know, I was, I was expecting to see a lot more than this. Uh, I was expecting to see them kind of change the way it generates the biomes in the sense that the features would be more or easier accessible, like more prefabs and other stuff like that. Like this, the area is just too big. Like, look how far we went already. We traveled. To me, that's a huge distance, and we only saw the one structure up in here. But what about... Like, yeah, I don't know, it's weird. It, it's cool, it's in the right direction, but I think it's not quite ready where, or, well, ready. I don't think it's quite where it needs to be. Uh, I think it it's, it's lacking a little bit in comparison to, like, other games and other things. And, you know, just remember, this is an alpha, so obviously I'm not complaining, but I'm just pointing out facts so that way maybe they can get fixed because if you don't point them out they won't get fixed <laughs> there's a bird's nest there so we're gonna have to fight this guy okay, okay so the four hits with the club that's not too bad I'm gonna have to repair it there's more zombies coming now uh, it's just eggs shit oh, more zombies Okay, I'm going west. I want to try and go south. Uh, and I think that is about it. I'm just turning my page here. And, oh, yeah, and for server configuration stuff, they added a save zone, which is interesting. So I guess you can create a save zone where zombies don't spawn for five hours around the player. Ooh, someone killed the animals. So zombies still kill animals. Take that, which it's gonna stink. There's leather. I hate giving up leather, but so this is the roads now. They changed the way the roads work. Uh, they now have them tra uh, travel. Oh, this is pretty cool, actually. They now travel up and down hills and stuff, and that's pretty cool. I dig that change. Let's travel along this road and see if we come across anything. But yeah, and I think that's about it. So. Uh, this is called the Annihilation Release. 
I'm not sure why they would call that. Maybe because they annihilated a bunch of bugs and you know, added some new features and you know, like such as this bow here. Oh, okay, I did hit that guy. Okay, so let's see if we can try and. Oh yeah, look at that, the sound. But does it mean it does more damage, right? Ah, it's still not. It's still not dead. How many arrows do we got? Left seven arrows. Maybe we're aiming too low. Nah. Maybe it's just the occasional sound. Oh shit! I push Q. Uh, uh, so that works. Gonna have to change that binding. Whoa! 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 Bastard. Uh. Three. Yeah, we're gonna have to get out of here. It's too much. Whoa, whoa, get, get out of here. Whee! I don't know if I like the road doing this. Because I don't think they really go up and down like this in real life. Here, they would just go flat. They would have uh, you dug both sides or, or dug where the road was and you had it flat. Because it's cheaper and easier to do that. Uh, than it is to to kind of go with the hill, right? Unless, of course, the hill is big enough to then where they don't have to grade it. But usually it's called grading, and they would make sure that it's all kind of level on the most part. What's this? Looks like some gore. It's a little bit shiny now. Yeah, I'm actually kind of disappointed a little bit just in the fact that I've been waiting a few months uh, for this now, yeah, ever since the last video on, of 10.3, uh, looks like crossroads here. Let's see how this looks like. Yeah, look at that. See here now. See now here, the dirt would have been you filled in to match the road. Yeah, this is really weird. So they definitely have work to do on the on the map generation. So this is the central hub. So this is the center area of the biome. So it looks like they still kind of have that that methodology. So let's go. Uh, yeah, let's explore this biome. Let's go this way. You think that there'd be buildings s somewhere along the road, right? Okay, now it's kind of more level. That's cool. Oh man, this is actually pretty challenging. I find. So let's eat the ration. Uh, at least there's stuff, right? So uh, let's get rid of that. That's, gonna f that's food poisoning. Skin rabbit. I could cook it, but I need to make a campfire. So let's see if we can try to do that. So basically, when you first craft an item, you have to place it into the system. Uh, let's character. Yeah, tank top's good. <laughs> tank top or whatever it is wife beater shirt <laughs> uh, yeah I don't know it would be interesting to play this with Lushable Echo and to kind of get a good idea of what is going to go down with Alpha 11 um, I haven't found any caves either I've been kind of watching for those so like in these areas where you have oh there's a zombie there you would think you'd see caves because they added that and I want to see caves I want to see these new buildings too and hopefully it's not in the hub city you know because that'd be kind of well again it'd be silly <laughs> uh, I don't see no buildings no nothing maybe I took the wrong way maybe you just had a bad map generation but I don't think they really changed the map generation that much it still kind of looks the same what's this this is probably just a bush yeah okay can you see any caves over here yeah I know I guess uh, we'll have to play the game do some exploring uh, there's a tree stump here oh food Oh, water though. I guess. 
Oh, well, there's a, a water back here, so let's... Crafting. Oh, I did make the campfire. Good, good, good. So what do we pick up that's purple? Shotgun barrel. Oh, okay. See, flawless shotgun barrel. See? So that's cool. So you basically want to create your weapon. Oh, what did I push? What did I drop? Oh, maybe I didn't drop anything. But you want to base... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm stuck. So basically you want to craft weapons and items and everything out of flawless stuff. So let's do some repairing here. Okay. Let's run this way. There. Where's that leak? Alright, we're coming up to it. Okay, so let's place that campfire. Let's see what the campfire looks like. Oh, that's cool. I like that. E to use. So we, sh we should be able to cook water here. Let's see if there's anything good in here. Feathers and eggs, which is good. Um, shit. I'm going to fall in there. So let's run over here and kind of use this to pick up some water. Yeah, there we go, there we go, okay. I should kill that one. Let's see how many hits with the bow. Really? Don't get out. Oh, you bastard. That sucks. So anyways, we got the rabbit meat, right? So let's get back over here. Oh man, this is going to be nasty. Let's, where's my club? I did drop my club. Fuck sakes. I'm going to have to rebind that key because that is retarded. See this animation? It just fucking sucks. Come on. Really? Hope it's this guy. There we go, okay. How about on here? Anything good? Yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe it's because I'm playing on my own computer and I'm recording. I don't know. Uh, so I need sticks and rabbit, I think. I, need, I think I need. That's fuel. Cookware is that. And that. And what can we burn that would... Oh, shit, hey. Oh, look at that. It looks cool, but it it's a uh, severe lag. Let's see how many hits. Two, three, four, five. I'm thinking I'm going to call the video here just as we're cooking some rabbit meat. Oh, man, come on. Chop this tree down, buggers. Looks like they changed the way the trees look, too, which is kind of cool. Uh... Oh, come on. I need wood. I see him right there. There we go. Let's quickly do this. I want to make some make some meat. Where is it? What the fuck? Cook. Look at this, man. That's terrible. Oh, that broke. Oh, shit. Look at this. Oh, man. The frames. The frames. The frames. He's on fire. Oh, 
I'll die. What the hell? Hey, look at that. Okay, another one? Come on, buddy. Go away. Oh, look at this. It's so terrible quality. Man, I wish there was a way of changing these settings. Like, this makes the game almost unplayable. Like, whoa. Hopefully you're seeing this, you guys. Look at this. This is going to take forever. Okay, let's shoot him, actually, then. Come on. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Well, that's stupid. So let's run over here, see about some meat here. I, uh, I heard you can go on, f uh, you burn up too. Put those there, put those there. Let's make some boiled water. Perfect. Let's take that out. Okay, let's drink this. But I boil. Oh, it's not boiled though. Oh, look at that, he's dying. That's cool. Fuck off. Fuck, look at this. I can't even hit the fucker, and now it's frozen on me. Look at that, I didn't even hit that. Okay, so we want a stick, and we want bottled water. Cook. Oh, there it is. There's the little red bar. So let's add another stick. 48 seconds. Wow. We're waiting for water. There we go. Boiled water. So this is how we'll get right click. Yay! So, so does it use it up? Oh, it does too. Uh, no, wait, it doesn't. It gives it back to you. Okay. What's that noise? Okay, so that worked, but man, my frames are just sucking. But yeah, so this is Alpha 11. Uh, <laughs> I was hoping I was going to show some buildings. Let's kind of walk this way while we kind of sign it out. So this is Alpha 11. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. You know, this is episode 100, so if Lush Echo wants to do more videos, then we'll definitely kind of get together and, and do some recordings on this again and kind of see how it goes from there. Uh, maybe we'll wait till the next Alpha, Alpha 12, but I just had to get this out there and get this uploaded so that way, you know, it's kind of new, kind of fresh, and hey, comment on the video. If you want to see more of these kind of videos and all that stuff, and actually kind of try and explore this game a little bit to see what kind of new features it holds and other secrets that may be you know, in the game. But yeah, but thank you everybody for watching. And yeah, I'll see you the next episode. Bye bye. Run backwards. Ooh. Supersonic running backwards. Woot woot.